Welcome back. While he was a man with no identity but infamously known as the Facebook rapist, the name Tabo Pesta has dominated headlines since news are broke of his escape from prison. While much is known about his heinous crimes, ENCA senior reporter Selina Lugutlamasigane takes us through where he comes from in the first segment of this docuseries. Very little was known about Tabo Pesta before his elaborate escape from prison. But what was known is that he faked his own death on the 3rd of May last year. The report suggested that the cause of death is being a natural death caused by a blind force trauma to the head of the victim. The report revealed that the child body death was of an adult male which has suffered a skull fracture. The autopsy also revealed that there was no smoke inhalation in the lungs. Therefore, indication was that the disease was already dead during fire incident. Based on the autopsy report, the case was converted from an inquest to a murder. The subs also registered the following charges which regard to the incident. Fourth, perjury, violation of the dead body, aiding and abating escape of a convicted person, and defeating the ends of justice. On the 1st of July 2022, the first DNA analysis conducted on the body believed to be that of Tabo Bester, and the person known by the investigators as Tabo Bester's mother did not match. Given his many aliases and countless brushes with the law, we all began to ask, was Tabo Bester even his real name? Over the past few weeks, this is what's been uncovered about the boy who became known as the Facebook rapist. <laughs> Then <laughs> Do you know her? Do you know that maybe she was in a relationship? Eh, eh, in the bag and Nandipa, you go to Nandipa, Ushate, no tab, and yes, Nandipa and Kalumbo. Unandipa, Ovella, Tabamarasa Rashoni. 
Kutwa unandipa home first got tabo for two nabandona by tuna. Meaning it why all the time bringing a felang and clumga. And then Vesu tabo ye unandipa vesa get guiana unfony. Nutipois had them trace at them for me, unfony, unfony. I think even my man's was a lap on Zook General in the back. Who's there I want? Wafiga won't tell Woody. Bora not have a shat. Have I got to shat? Baba Navandrana by two. Then in the Lavandrana lava van like her. Yeah, we paid it up. And then you found out that she wants to cremate the body, but you were against that. No, I never even vum and woo, mamma. Now, never vum, good Tunaka, Fitumutonga, Mas Maruyas, good Tunak, any way appeal. You have one of the into Icalela for goody. Ungavu Maranjan, good Tunak, no more at Utopu, no more wunya, Pelele Stratin. You got Marafilu Zum Top and a Pomiso Mosharia Kum Fish. That is problem. And then in Aki Kore, Hakina, anything to do with this. Tatavaka and Niki Petalas to put someone up, as well, and now Kitamelik blow with Kabakalas to put someone up. Well, no good old Shakabakalas to put someone up. When you say that, do you not feel safe? Have you been? I don't feel safe recording Ama phone Angela every day. Every day, Omunio Hulo, Omunio Hulo, Omunio Hulo, and Yagan has good to the right one who ban. At the end of the day, we are going to love about to ban it at Banali did the telecoffer, Kutubana Kule Iema, Kutuna Nauri, Kimutai Fitera, Kitula Kantleman Tunga Gash. Wait on. Tell me how you felt then when you found out that Tabo is not dead? Yo, 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 yo. Next time, I was. Neko Tile, the Swako was a moon of Lekin Yano Afisha Moto, Abasam Tabin Urina, Avangam Tib, Bangambula Long of Bang Penny Living Artistic Cemeteries, Bangambula Tutu, Umpara to Ambula Long of Baya Bang Bono would bring such situation in Chan. Eh, Bakam the Mata Hamper Hapsukoban, Balaban Pono or Nanaki situation in Sejwa, Nino, but they work the situation in Sejwa, when I was made to love like it bad. So you were shocked, you were surprised, and all this time, Tabo is not talking to you. He's not in contact with his family. I never see him since. I just see him in the TV. I saw him born when I got in there. He was feeling yawry. The day he was born, I was in a chapel like a flunger. I was quite an analysis in his. Good chance to go to my high. I'm done now. Wait, but I was born. 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 What do you think perhaps influenced? the the life that he he has been living um the the crime that he's been doing what do you think no we as i went on mamela i didn't raise him we raise all mama okay so mama oh go to utabo ukule une violent and yes tabo unali king be bipolar here we are doing you where's mundune bipolar and i win goes um, Sazano ne by Paula, and as good to was engine. Good, good, Marasuela, I keep down. Who figure was Sangan and Avantabaro? Wait, so you're saying he was diagnosed with a mental illness? Yeah, I'm so more. I, I think like that. Think so. Yeah, when I'm suffering from a mental illness. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's something a corner who, yeah. If man at all, Mutong, I'm needed, he help. You need a help, than I choose while I'm so more need a help. Jale Usabelli didn't know Hassan or Hon. There's nobody can help him because in Jalal Lokuna Ham Tab. Weibo. So you are also afraid of him. Ha. Unga melo mundo. Um muzwa yuto ba tu yenza. Aje kumundo zo melo mundo za. So maybe if you had an opportunity to to speak to him, what would you say to him? I will ask him why you do that. Why would you do that? You do when you do it, you know you the, the police gonna catch you. Whatever my police told us, how it's And then no safari sama, no safari sama so bad. No safari, no safari sama. Banana bat and camera. Who can never jump in the bat? Me nang pila kaplu. We abana me nang pila kaplu. We saw no gear shop. We saw no gear mall. We abana okinsen na koti. Okinsen na koti ngaksale free. That's why kini let police start car. We try to bola keshwe. Before I went to Labour back, I'm got back a figure again. Been a missing feel. No bang bars, no bars. And Mars, what have I been telling you? Bona Life and Yum Comb. Life and Yum Comb go to Sagam Yama or for Sagam Club and Yum Comb. 
naye akasangazi kuma amathi akasangazi then ma what would you like to see happen now you know what is your wish Nike at the horror situation is senator. I mean, as also on Agatha to have one so. Hang as was on the tin. Or get a ring, or look out to have one so and hack it, baby, or one who suffers a ruby, and a gold blank cook of it. When on the room, such a little hoot or two, sir, would go up into the bit here. Would look at wrong gong a chin she. Zotin Nagoge, 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 I next at the evil. This interview launched the investigation into establishing Bester's identity. When we learned from TV that there's a lady who appeared on TV and declared that is Tabo Bester's mother. If you remember in this TV interview, who was interviewing is Slim Selinda. Yes, we decided that maybe that that could. Be be the clue. We paid her a visit, and indeed, we paid her a visit to home affairs. Indeed, she insisted that she's the mother of Tabo Bester. She even gave us his date of birth and told us that she gave birth to this gentleman at Kisani Baragonath Hospital on the 13th of June, 1986. I, I've seen on several media that he was born somewhere between 1983 in 1986. He was actually born on the 13th of June 1986. And indeed, we rushed to Bara Hospital and checked in their archives. And what this lady told us is true. Tabo Presta's upbringing is in the spotlight as his criminal activities continue to shock South Africa. Home Affairs Minister Dr. Aaron Mutsualedi revealed that Besta briefly attended a primary school in the south of uh, Johannesburg back in 1997. Senior reporter Cindy Lomasigana visited the school, that's Liar School Danitron in Kibla Park. This is where we understand uh, Tabo Besta uh, spent some time as a pupil. Uh, we wanted to find out if really the school actually existed and uh, we found out that it actually does and that um, Tabo Besta is registered um, as have as have um, attended the school um, as a youngster. Now, unfortunately, it is uh, the end of the school day, so we do still have some children um, on the premises. So we, there's not much that we can show you right now, but uh, what Debojo is going to show you as we walk up to, uh, as, as we walk up these stairs, is that in essence, this is um, the classroom. This is where we're going. These are the stairs that Tabo Besta would use uh, to get to uh, the classroom in which he last attended. We do know that there is a teacher who does remember um, Tabo Besta, and in essence, this is the classroom um, in which he attended um, those years while he was here at uh, law school, Dani Taron. But to give us more context, I'm joined by uh, GDE spokesman Steve Mabona. Thank you so much for your time. Maybe they just t give us a sense as to the records. Uh, what are the records showing about Tabo Besta attending um, law school, Dani Taron? Thanks very much. Um, according to our records, yes, he did uh, attend schooling here. Uh, he started in 1997. Uh, he was uh, brought here by a guardian, uh, not by a father or a mother. So um, without any documentation, we must confirm that. So as a department, you will know that we cannot deny education of a child because of a, a documentation. So we have a constitutional obligation to provide education to all our children. So we then did, um, uh, you know, register, uh, you know, him. And um, he then, uh, you know, continued with schooling up until grade seven. Uh, okay. So he left, uh, we are informed that uh, he left at, uh, during term three. Mm -hmm. uh, he did not come back, and uh, that's the last time he was seen in a school cooling environment. Mm. So if I understand you correctly, the records show that he attended this school up until grade seven, and then did he, in essence, disappear in 1997? That was that last year he was in this school. 
No, it started in 1997. Oh, okay. So uh, probably seven years later, yeah. you know, Temp 3 disappeared, mm -hmm. did not come back. And um, there, were, there was information that suggested that he might have went to the World School President, but we checked with World School President. Mm -hmm. There are no records yeah. you know, of him attending there. So um, we can confirm that we are not sure on what is it that he did moving forward. Yeah. Do you know of any um, investigations that took place in terms of law enforcement um, or home affairs coming to this particular school? We can confirm uh, that home affairs did come. Um, they did visit the school. Uh, the police, you know that they are investigating you know, their case as well. They did uh, come to the school as well. Um, but uh, we can only confirm that they yes, did get, you know, come to the school to do their own investigation. Are there any teachers, perhaps the principal, who remembers Tabo Besta attending the school, uh, the kind of pupil he was? Um, does anybody remember Tabo Besta from the school? No, they do remember. Uh, there's a, a, a class teacher that was uh, teaching Tabo. There's uh, employees who are still working here in this school who remember him as a, they said he was charming, um, a very clever boy and um, a sportsman as well. Mm. He was doing rugby, he was good at rugby to a certain extent that uh, there's a parent that actually also took care of him because he, he was a friend or friend to, you know, those that he was playing rugby with. Mm. Uh, so, but yeah, that's the information that we have about him. Mm. This is footage from a sports day at law school Donitoron in 2001. Besta can be seen on the racetrack. This is the only video footage that we know exists of Besta's childhood. We managed to track down a family that spent a lot of time with Besta as a child and kept in touch with him while in prison. Tabu Besta was a loving child, always laughing. I used to laugh his laugh, when he laughs. Um, very kind, not abusive, not bullying any other children. He was never in any problems that we could say um, we had to go to school because, as I said, most of the time he spent time here, holidays, uh, school opens, he go back, but in the afternoons they're here. And at that, on the athletic fields as well, oh, he was a loving child. Um, as I said, um, he always used to talk about his grandmother. He loved his grandmother. Um, I asked him about his mum and he told me no, that he don't have a relationship with his mother, his father. He told me his father passed on, it's fine. And um, yes, he used to come and um, my phone, my son's phone got missing in the house one day and we were looking for him. That was at night, right? So we were all looking and he helped us look for the phone and we couldn't find the phone. The next morning Tabu left early and he was gone. He came back, uh, he had money and uh, we asked him, but my son said no, I don't think that is the money that he got because the phone wasn't worth that money. It was fine, I spoke to him and then I think a month, two months again, they were playing outside, we were busy, and then money got missing in the house. It was the children in the house, we didn't have visitors. So it's during the week, and we asked, and they will help us search mm -hmm. into the wardrobe, so ever tell us maybe we must place it here, and they, yeah, we will look for it, and we couldn't find it. But then he will leave for a day or two, and then he's gone. Mm -hmm. And then when he comes again, he has money. He'll go with the, his friends to the shop, it was far, and they'll come back, and um, school starts, he'll go, and then it's maybe a weekend or holidays again. Fancy cars used to drop him. Mm. Ask him, who's that? And he used to say, it's Reuben. Uh, it's where his grandmother was working. Mm. He mm. told us that his grandmother was working for these whites, so mm. I don't know. I've never met them, yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe then talk to me about Besta after... Um, you know, he started getting into a lot of trouble. I know um, you and your family did visit him a couple of times in prison. What actually happened one, I think when they went over to grade eight, he wasn't, I don't know, he just disappeared, as I said, 
he did not complete his grade seven. And then when my, my sons were at the boarding school and when he comes and I ask him, where are you schooling? He told me that I'm at work school president and I asked the, the other friend to, really easy. They said, no, Tani, I don't see them. I don't see him. But I left it. I didn't bother to ask him any questions. And then we got a call. My husband got a call from Juvenile in Krugersdorp telling us that we should come and fetch the blazer. Mm, mm. And um, you have the blazer with you. Yes. So the last time you saw um, Tabo was perhaps when he was around 13 years old. No, that was 17. I'm sure it's 17 years old with his first crime. He was locked up at uh, Juvenile and my husband went to fetch the blazer. He, Tabo brought the blazer to him and my husband said, I'm very angry with you. Please stay away. You don't come to my house again. Mm. We haven't seen Tabo. And then in 2015, we got a call to say that he needs visitors. We went to, he was locked up in Leo Cop. We went there and we had a family day. We introduced us to the wardens. We sat and we had braai, we were talking and you know, it was nice to see him again. I've spoken to him and tell him to forget about the past and concentrate on the future. Mm. All he needs is God now and yeah. I'm joined by the investigative forensic psychologist, Dr. Uh, Gerard Labushkakni. He actually interviewed Tabu Besta back in 2011. Mr. Labushkakni, thank you very much for your time once again here on uh, ENCA. Just firstly, describe to us, I mean, when you spoke to this man back in 2011, uh, how did he seem? He told the court that he was raped multiple times, particularly by his grandmother's friend, I think it was, and then, uh, you know, a, a neighbor as well, a male neighbor. But this surely didn't give him an excuse to, you know, perform the acts that he was found guilty of yeah well first first you have to understand that he's a he's a consummate con man i mean mm -hmm. he had fraud convictions before those rapes those rapes involved um forging you know convincing people to come with him in prison we, there's these allegations that he was running these multi-million man businesses so fraud is part of who he is and conning people is part of who he is so you cannot accept anything at face value that tabo besta tells you and as i always say if he tells you that your heart's beating you should probably make an appointment with a cardiologist <laughs> to, to confirm it yeah, and is his name even Tabo Besto? So everything that he says and does has to be treated with great circumspect until you've got confirmation otherwise. Um, so that's, I think, you know, one of the impressions. So this, we can't accept that those stories are true. But I did say in my interview to him that even if those were true, you know, many people in life are exposed to very similar things or worse things. And they don't go out and hurt people. They don't go out and rape people. They don't go out and lie and cheat and steal. So that's never going to be an excuse in the court for his actions, you know, he will be account accountable for what he's done. And at best, a court might take that as a, uh, a mitigating circumstance, but at best, um, that might take place. Following years of being identityless, Bester finally has an ID. The Director General addressed a letter dated 15 May 2023 to Tabo Bester, advising him that he has assigned relevant officials to assist him in his application for an identity card. Tabo Bester cooperated with the said officials who also required his mother to sign the necessary application forms and the old lady did sign. As a result of the said process, Tabo Bester was issued with an identity card on the 17th of May, 2023. As an adult, Bester's legal woes aren't over yet. It also remains to be seen whether he can be rehabilitated now that he's back in prison.